Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Bumblebee. And this figure has already impressed me because he is so highly sought after right now. I mean, we've had Bumblebee figures shoved down our throats since 2007. And the fact that the collectors are scrambling to get this guy just goes to prove that there's no one like G1. Now, taking a quick look at the packaging, you've got Bumblebee right here dead center in all this empty space which i think that just kind of looks odd white netflix box packaging here transformers war for cybertron trilogy you got some artwork of bumblebee right here on the side back of the box you've got bumblebee in bot mode and volkswagen beetle mode and take note this is an official licensed product by volkswagen so that is really really cool side of the box you kind of got a black and red image of the Earthrise artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get this bee out of the hive and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Bumblebee all open and out of his packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. And just like all the modern instructions we've been getting lately, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. And these are done in a black, red, and white opposed to Earthrise, which was black, green, and white. Bumblebee also comes with this Teletran 1 background piece. And that's pretty cool. I never really paid attention to these before, but... I may start getting those because that'll make a pretty cool video background, but man, they are super thin. Bumblebee also comes with the four pieces that combine together to form the giant bazooka that we've already seen so many times. Though Bumblebee's is a different color. You've got cliff jumpers here, which was more chrome. You had hubcaps, which was dark gray. And then of course you had bug bites, which was purple. So we have seen that weapon many, many times. I'm not going to waste the time going over that. Let's get right to Bumblebee himself. Now, Bumblebee here is a heavy retool of Earthrise Cliffjumper. Do not argue with me in the comments because he is. And what a fantastic retool he is. He looks awesome. So Generation 1. And I'm so happy to finally get a Bumblebee that transforms into a Volkswagen. This guy looks amazing. The head sculpt, very cartoon accurate, great paint applications, silver face, blue eyes. Got the windshield wipers right there on the chest. Down here on the feet, looks great. You can tell it's a Volkswagen paint applications there on the headlights. He's got a Tampagraft Autobot logo right there on the foot. I wish that was there on the chest, but I've got plenty of Toy Hacks decals to fix that up. This guy looks amazing. He's got the same articulation that Cliff Jumper has. You got the head on a ball joint that can look up and down all around. Arms can do a complete 360. There's an elbow bend, elbow rotation, wrist rotation, waist rotation, legs up, down, all around. There is a knee bend and ankle tilt. 
my joints are really tight, which is very, very nice. I always hated getting those figures with those really loose joints. Now, of course, the backpack looks a lot different because, like I said, it is a remold. You can pop this off if you want. It can go into his forearm here as a shield, but it's really, really loose. He's got tight joints, but loose connections. So you've got that option for a shield, or you can put it in his fist like so. I don't like that. I will just stick with how he looks with it attached to his back like so. Now, as I said earlier, he comes with that big bazooka. I don't like that for Bumblebee. If you have the Centurion drone pack, it came with this little Bumblebee pistol. So you can put that in his hand, and I think that looks a lot better. Very Generation 1. Now, if you do not have the Centurion drone pack, my buddy Firetox has made a pistol very similar, and I'll put a link on how to get this in the description of the video. This one also looks really good in Bumblebee's hand, and I dig it. It just looks so much better than that big bazooka. So now, let's get Bumblebee transformed into vehicle mode. Now, once you get Bumblebee all disarmed, the next thing you want to do is remove his backpack. You just simply pull that off. It is attached with that black peg right there, and you're going to fold this in all the way like so, and then you're just going to put this section off to the side. Now, Bumblebee here transforms exactly like Earthrise Cliffjumper, so if you have that figure, you know what to do. Take the chest, unpeg it, and flip up the hood of the Volkswagen. Now you're going to take the arms, move those down out of the way, and you're going to peg this back into place. It's got this little peg right here that's going to line up with that slot right there below that hinge. So get that in, and it'll snap right into place. Now you're going to rotate at the waist, and then I love the feet transformation on this figure. Take this section, fold this out. These will be the doors of the vehicle. Fold the feet down so you can flip the wheels out. Do that on both sides. And now you're going to fold at the waist. It's always kind of fiddly to get this all lined in. You want to fold this back, bring the arm panels back and just kind of get everything lined up and pegged into place. Now, back here on the back, you wanna bring the arms down like so. This little section right here with the circle, that's gonna face in. Get those lined in just right, and now we'll get Bumblebee all pegged together here at the front of the vehicle, like so. Now you're going to take the fists and line those up just like that. So you can take the rear of the vehicle. It's got the two pegs right here that are going to go into the fists of Bumblebee. So get those lined up. Now, when I first did this, these were super tight. I didn't think I was going to get these pegged in. And I actually had a little bit of flashing on the inside of the right fist that I had to clean out. So once you get those in, press down. Get Bumblebee all squeezed together, and there we go. I love the looks of this vehicle. Still, got to make sure and get everything pegged in. That's the worst thing about all these new Transformers, getting everything tabbed in just right. He does have a lot of panels, but I can forgive that because it still looks so good. Lots of molded detail right here on the front. As I said earlier, got the headlights, the bumper, the auto autograph autobot logo the detailing there along the hood you got the volkswagen symbol right there the windshield wipers along the side of the vehicle you got a painted handle and look at the hubcaps with the vw symbol i love that they went all out on this vehicle the painted door handles really blew my mind back of the vehicle you've got painted tail lights great molded details again you got the vents right there below the back window the details on the engine remember Volkswagen engine was in the back and painted taillights. The bumper here on the back is kind of, I think that's rubber. So that's really, really cool. It's very, very pliable. I mean, I love the looks of this vehicle. This takes me back. My mom had a yellow Volkswagen back in the day when I was a kid. Mom had a yellow one. Dad had a blue one. So I love the Volkswagen. Lots of memories. And another funny memory for you. My parents also had a Volkswagen van, 
And their version of a car seat in the mid 70s was they bolted the playpen or bolted my playpen on the inside of that van. So, you know, they hit the brakes. I bounced around like a pinball. <laughs> it was awesome. Ah, oh, those were the days. So anyway, there is Bumblebee in vehicle mode. He rolls great and looks fantastic. Now, since Bumblebee has a brand new vehicle mode compared to Cliff Jumper, Hubcap, and Bug Bite, I will show off what the weapons look like transformed into his ski mode or whatever this is, where you take the weapons, you put one end down here across the middle, you add the skis below the wheels, and the weapon ports there on the side. So you've got that look going on. So I think it kind of looks goofy, but that's one thing you can do with the weapon. And another option with Bumblebee's weapon is you can do this. You have to mistransform the rear of the vehicle with the arms facing up, plug in the rear of the vehicle, and then attach the weapon. So you have this, which is, I guess, is a battle beetle mode. So there you go, another goofy looking weapon option. And now for some quick Generation 1 comparisons, here is Netflix Bumblebee in vehicle mode with Generation 1 Bumblebee and Classic Pretenders Bumblebee. And up until right now, I really didn't notice the difference in the yellow. Where the G1 guys, you know, they have that bright yellow where Netflix is kind of more of a subdued, realistic yellow. But that's no big deal. I still think it looks fantastic. So there you go, guys. One final look at Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Bumblebee in vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons. Here is Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Bumblebee with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Bumblebee, along with the Walmart reissue, Generation 1 Classic Pretenders Bumblebee, and his mold mate, Earthrise Cliff Jumper, Generation Selects Hubcap, and Generation Selects Bug Bite. The Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Bumblebee is an awesome figure. This is the Bumblebee toy that I have been waiting years for. He's Generation 1 cartoon accurate. He actually transforms into a VW Beetle, and I just couldn't be happier. I love this Bumblebee toy, and yes, I'm surprised saying that considering this is a Bumblebee toy. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Bumblebee. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron trilogy Netflix Bumblebee belong in your collection? You know what I'm going to say. Absolutely, this is a fantastic Bumblebee figure. I absolutely love it. It is so Generation 1 accurate. It turns into a VW Beetle. Great details, great paint applications. I mean, to be honest, the paint applications on this guy you can't really tell in robot mode, but in vehicle mode, really impress me. I am just thrilled to death with this guy, and I understand why he is so sought after right now. So I really hope you guys can find him out there. I actually got this one as a pre-order from Walmart. They actually came through with a pre-order, and I couldn't be happier with that. And I've been hearing along the social media that Bumblebee is hitting Walmarts right now. So yeah, you see this guy? pick him up, you're not going to be disappointed. And I'm going to call this right now. As much as Hasbro likes to use this mold right here, I foresee Generation Select's Gold Bug incoming. You heard it here first. So there you go, guys. Transformers, Netflix, Bumblebee. Awesome figure. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon. And I want to give a big shout out to my newest channel member, Matthew Sr. Matthew, thank you so much for the support. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out.